I'm done. Okay, and so done. I'm going to show you my screen. I'm just going to run through these announcements really quick so we can get on to the good stuff. Uh, share screen. All right, you can see my screen, yeah? Yes. All right, I'm going to give the link. We're not going to read this, obviously. But there's an article on my site showing some changes in my behavior lately that will be things I'm going to be doing different. Uh, but the essence of it is, is I am doubling down. I've got some goals I want to meet this year, and I haven't met them yet. And if you haven't, don't know what I'm talking about, there's a link in the article to my goals at, from the beginning of the year. But in order for me to work on my goals, I need to minimize some of my other efforts. So what that means is. I'm going to continue my Patreon campaign, but I'm changing it slightly. I'm no longer doing a reward-based campaign in the sense that I won't be emailing people every month and saying, here's your answer packs and your other stuff. I'll continue to do answers in the forums. And as a patron, you know, if you want to contact me and you really jones in for one of my uh, content packs or something like that, then go ahead and just email me. You can do that. Um, the Hitman service. I'm putting that to bed for the rest of the year, at the very least. Uh, I've done several hits now, um, but I've decided that the return on the investment is not quite good enough. Um, so there's more overhead than I expected as far as communication and stuff like that. So I'm taking her down. SSK, I mentioned this last week. That's still going to be out there. I'm still in the middle of doing the super upgrade, whatever release. But I'm not worried about documentation. I'm not worried about backward compatibility. It's going to be my my personal kit of joy and if you want to make it your kit of joy by all means it'll be on the git and you can get it. There's a link right here. Things I'm going to continue doing. The Hangouts. Obviously uh, this is important and I want to continue doing it. Answering questions in the forums. Yes absolutely I'll continue to do that and I'll be my usual grumpy self. You know, promise. <laughs> <laughs> Contracting, yes. If you're one of my uh, one of my clients, you know who you are. Yes, I'm going to continue doing that. But the big thing I'm going to be doing is game and app development. Uh, yeah, and I'll still continue to sell my selfie products, so all my content packs and whatnot. So on those notes, uh, I posted an article. I'm going to give a link in the show today. But I gave away all the answer packs that I've thus far produced because I want people to have these and make use of them. There are a total, if I counted correctly, of 61 answered questions across all of the answer packs. So um, if you haven't gotten them, go get them. They're all in one download. You don't even have to read the article. Just click this link right here at the top. Hitman service is down. I said that. And then the only major announcement after this is that Mike H. I'm just going to say H because... And if you're listening later, Mike, it's because I still don't want to slaughter your name. I'm so bad with names. I know how to say it, but I'm not going to say it. Uh, Mike H. and I, Mike uh, from Crave Creative, and then, of course, me from Roman Gamer, we worked together on a game uh, over the past several months. It is in the mill, so to speak, getting ready for review. It is being reviewed, hopefully soon. And this is our launch page, our landing page. It's. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it to you. Check it out. So oh, cool. All right. I'll woohoo on a show when it's actually released. Okay. It it through the mill. Do you do you want us to link to it uh, as is, or you want to wait until it's ready to go? Uh, yeah, I can. We can uh, supply the link on the page. Uh, the only thing is, is the uh, let's see. Yeah, the links are here are live, but they don't actually go to anything until the release occurs. So gotcha. all the links on this page should completely work okay. as soon as the product actually gets out there. So if people want to just read on it now, and then I'll make an announcement again when it's finally released through the mill, as I say, uh, we'll, we'll go go from there. Cool. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I'm excited to hear you... Um, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You, 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 you're saying no to some things, even to yourself, right? Uh, it, it's very hard to know when to say no so that you can say... So you can say yes to, to other things, and, yes, and 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 specifically not just to, uh, well to yourself and to clients, I think is really hard because there's all these things that you want to do, right? Because you're you're uh, an inquisitive guy, and you, I, all these new products come up, and we talk about stuff every week, and it's like, ooh, I'm gonna check that out, right? But there's but you can't do everything, so so you have to say, okay, well, no, you have to sit and you have to. 
do the first thing that you wanted to do, not the tenth thing that, that came along. And then the second thing is sometimes it's hard to say no to to um, to new business or new clients. Uh, and as you mentioned, even even when it may not be uh, uh, as lucrative as you want it to be, because I, I have had those times when people come bring me a, a project and I'm like, mm, you know, it's it's money, I mean, it's green, <laughs> uh, but uh, but at the same time you're like. Uh, but that's going to preclude me from doing other things, so I have to say no to it, and that's really hard sometimes. Yes, it is true. I deliberated over this for a few weeks and talked with uh, some folks and uh, came to this conclusion. So. Yeah, 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 and, and it's good. It's good. It's good. And uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what you push out to, by the from the end of the year. I, that's I, I would love to see what 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 kind of Result you get between now because we what we we have uh, maybe seven eight six weeks I don't know yeah between now and the, the end of the year so um, it would be interesting to know what kind of productivity you're able to achieve by sort of as you say doubling down and then and then focusing exclusively uh, at the end of the year and you know what I I've learned o over the the past I don't know six or seven years that uh, it seems like, in, especially when you're doing consulting, at the end of the year is always it's, it's either two things. One is um, there's no projects, there's no new projects because everybody's focused on the holidays or, or whatever, or existing clients are just like they're losing their mind and they're trying to get everything off their desk right before the end of the year. <laughs> well, that that's still true. Existing clients are, in fact, will be losing their minds. You're right. I yeah. already see that happening. And, and some of it's just because they're, they're again, they're not taking any new new business in, so they decide they take that opportunity to sort of clean their desk and 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 reorganize themselves for the end of the year, and that kind of trickles down into, you know, all these last minute to dos for you. So you're kind of like, uh, uh, so it's not really new business, but it's new busy work. So I try to. I don't mean that in a negative way. I it's no. the realization of what happens at the end of the year. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's good to. Yeah, it's good to recognize patterns and just be, to to work with that. Yeah. Flow. Another thing is that sometimes clients come to me when all hope is lost and it's time to just have to make it happen. So, we're with you know they're already are already at the stage where they're like I just gotta get this done. <laughs> right. Right. Which is not something you want dumped dumped in your lap necessarily. So. Necessarily. Uh, it depends. Okay. Well, yeah. That'll I'll, again. I'll be interested to see how. Um, how it works, because I, I truly believe that once we put our mind to something, once we kind of focus in on something, w exceptional results happen. Right? We we can spend six months thinking about something, but it, but the moment that we we talk about, you know, we that we uh, um, decide to do it, is that moment that like bam, it gets done, and we're like, oh, well, why did I take so long to mess with that? Why not just do it? So what you're saying is no pressure, but. You better have awesome results for the end of the uh, yes, year. Yes, well, exactly. You should. I mean, you're right. You have to be stellar, or you're, you're, we're we're all gonna feel or you're like fired. yeah, you're fired. <laughs> like feel like that's my that's what I usually tell just, people. No, just our hopes and dreams first. It was me. You're fired. Yeah, our, our hopes and dreams are are hanging in the balance, so no pressure. <laughs> Everybody will cry if I don't do well. So speaking of doing well, we're 20 minutes in, and we got we got several things to cover. I promised people we would take our time, but in order to take our time, I should get started and get rolling. Let's do it. All right. 